I'm going to be printing issue four of United Forces, a comic book that I draw and write. I also have um, a penciler do the penciling is uh, Phil Lavelli, and he helps me with the story. And on the back of the issue, I have Evil Monkey Man, which is another friend of mine, Nicholas Blake, who I'm going to put that in the back of the issue. So you, looking at this, I have the front cover and the back cover. And then if you go down one, you have the front, the inside, page one and page two. A little unconventional. I have the copyright in the bottom right down here, which is page two and all of the credits on the right up here on the top United Forces of the series and the Keepers of the Orb universe and yada 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 and it looks unconventional I have the middle of the two pages very unconventional <laughs> but let's go to tools in Adobe Acrobat and we'll go to organize pages right here I have the cover Inside of the cover is the last one down here with advertisements. And then I have um, what Greco Printing uh, Comic Wellspring has, says that this is the inside of the comic book, which is two pages, and this is another two pages, and another two pages. So this would be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. 24, 26, 28 pages inside the comic book with a cover and inside. Okay. Now I'm going to opt for putting the advertisement inside the comic book. The reason is I have an odd amount of pages and I don't, and I need to fill it. So why not put in their advertisement and get a little bit cheaper printing? The other advertisement I have in the back is um, the Victor Vedica's Skull with Magic album. The comic character inside Victor Vedica has a band. He has music. So the comic book character has a band and he has videos. So look him up on YouTube, Vedica, Skull with Magic. Um, that's the album. Actually, the song, the new one that's coming out is... Let's find the advertisement for that is she is magic and we'll find out why she's magic and why she has the orb. And then why does Victor Vedica have the orb too? Hmm. What is this orb all about? Well, the music crosses over into the comic book and the comic book crosses into the videos and the music videos and the music. So check that out. I have, um, if you go to unitedforces.com, you can order the t-shirt for issue number two's cover. And Living Dead Sauce is Polka's Hottest. If you look up um, Polka's Hottest, Living Dead Sauce, you can buy that online. It's really tasty. Uh, just a little bit of spice to it. And then you can go to patreon.com to follow my process. Anyway, let's put that away for now. And let's go to Comic Wellspring which is Greco printing, Greco printing forward slash comics wellspring.com. If you look up Greco printing in Google, you'll find it. No problem. I've been printing with them. They've been doing a great job for me. So it is now April 1st. Ha. <laughs> and this is not a joke, but I want to have it printed by May 1st so I can have it for the MegaCon Orlando 2019. So we click on May 1st, 2019, and then I'm going to call the United Forces number four. So I know what they know what comic book I'm printing. I know what comic book I'm printing. Standard issue, six and a half by ten and a quarter. Standard glossy 80 pound cover, gloss cover. That's fine with me. The uncoated text, the cheapest they have, the smallest, and it's actually pretty thick, actually. Uh, black and white, it's not color. So this is going to be the cheapest you can go because color, of course, is more expensive. 28 interior pages like I counted before, plus four cover pages, which is the, the two pages on the outside and the two pages that are on the inside. Okay, so that's what I want. And then, yes, I have an interior page or no, and this will be more expensive if you go no. Then they have, yes, back cover and yes, inside back cover. I think... This one, you get a lot of money off. This one, you get some money off. And this one is, you know, not much. Because <laughs> it's on the inside. 
Uh, new artwork on providing a new file. Yes. Excuse me. I'm going to need to upload my PDF to Google. Um, no proof. These guys are badass. And you know what? I'm not going to order that many. I'm going to order just enough for Megacon and for some orders. So I'm going to do like 40. Um, probably going to sell about 20 or 30 at Megacon. And then I'll buy a whole bunch more for um, Supercon in Miami. Uh, standard turnaround time, 14 days or more. And I'll put my Google link right here, returning customer. You know, referred by a friend. If you're referred by me, put me in there so I can get some uh, some more <laughs> money off the comics that I buy from them. All right, so let's upload this to Google. So to upload to Google in your drive, you go to gmail.com, go through your Gmail, and then up on the top right, you have your Google Apps. Click on that, and then click on Drive. And that will bring you here. And I want to click on New. File upload, go to my desktop, and get UF issue number four. Choose it. Now, I'm gonna, it's going to take a little while for it to upload. One upload complete. Excellent. Now we get to find it. <laughs> right click, get shareable link, and then click on the link, Command C or Control C if you're on a PC. Let's go back to Comics Wellspring, click on the file transfer link, upload, do a Command V to paste or control V and there we go. And then I'm going to add this to the cart. $64.80. Okay, I'm in the cart now and with an interior ad, 40 comic books at $1.62 a piece, that would total 64.80, add 20 bucks on that for shipping. This is gonna be $84. Without the ad, it's going to be $75, which is $10 difference. I'm going to pull the trigger on the um, interior ad. Why not? Help them out. Help me out by 10 bucks. $64.80, $1.62 a piece. Let's do this. Let's check out. So it comes out to $88.80 with the tax and the shipping and handling right here. All right. 40 comic books for $90 goes $2.25. So that's how much my comics are going to be. So if I sell them for $4.99, I make some profit. If I give it to a comic store for them to sell, I'm not going to make as much back. And I just want to show you guys my comic book right here. This is the issue number two. I took the logo off of the top. This is the front of the cover. That's the back of the cover. You'll see that down here. This is the front right here. And then I have issue one, two, and three, and I'm printing number four right now. If you click on this one, it will take you to the um, big cartel where I have this ready to be purchased. I have to go back into Comic Wellsprings to do another order of these because I don't have enough. I got to reprint. And I'm going to put issue four up there soon. And then if you go to Comixology, I have that there too. I have issue one, two, and three. And then if you want to enjoy Victor Vedica's music, he is the comic character in the book. He has a, um, a video you can look up called Vedica Burn. The song is called Burn. Again, this is the his first video he put out. Actually, it's his second video. Very metal and punk. Victor's band, Vetica, that's the album cover. And I want to go to Zazzle to get the United Forces com Comic Cup. <laughs> Here's the Living Dead Sauce. And then Evo Monkey Man and Horror Island are my friend's comic books. You can check out their comics. And here is a teaser of the new Vetica song called She Is Magic, which comes out in May.
That's enough for you guys. That's a good teaser right there. All right. I think I've gone over everything there is to go over. I've been going with Comic Wellspring now for all of my comic book needs. So you should too. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.